right, Clive. Astrid. We'd finished sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Sorry, bitch. Mid she ran off she again? Overless. Have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry and all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rowed off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Canver, uh, Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned has not only agreed to share the con continent of its strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the going on of the free city by which I learned of the endeavor of a certain young friend of yours. <clears throat> Though uh, I for one believe that Miss Tellman's uh, project to be quite the valiant enterprise. I doubt the Canavian, the Caverian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of the dockyard. No matter how deserted, and if rumors have been reached my friend, it may not be long before the uh, guildmaster are rapping out at our doors. Which is why I pin you to this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two. He might keep a watch of those who might, uh, means our little fellowship ill. I warned us of many impending attacks, and I trust that you will be given this proposal of your full consideration. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Holy shit. What's going on here? Why? Why uh, is everything blocked off? What the fuck? Is something gonna go on?
well, Sid. I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. doing before ready enough to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Do you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself.
Whoa, 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 whoa. I still can't go to other... Other places? Only the hideway? <laughs> the fucking guy. Goats. He, he's so happy that he's, he's going away. Onwards. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Toggle helped too. The new boy. Wait, what the fuck? I knew what the fuck there's a side quest here? Wait, how the fuck? So oh, weird. Oh! Oh, I can call him my ride. Go. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. I'll say that. Just give me uh, the foreshadowing that there are going to be some bandits I'm going to fight. What the fuck? Give me a sec. Who the hell is this guy? So what do you think? You deserve a rest. To make it out alive. Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true. We've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway... You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. Nope, nope. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. These motherfuckers sound suspicious. Especially this guy right here. He will take care of the rest. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. We've got guests. These must be our Itch. bandits. Titan! 
I don't do the thing. I don't know how to do it. There we go. Bitch. They came too late. Fuck. Alright. I think those guys are gonna betray me. I think they're gonna betray me. That's them dealt with. No. Where's that cart? There is no cart. And we're working with them. Oh shit, there is a cart. What the fuck? Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part, and that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Damn! Motherfucker. I, I regret helping this piece of shit. Next time I will kill you. Motherfucker's gonna betray me. Sorry, bitch. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Oh. The path continues on the other side. They try to make a bridge here? What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Lightsaber be uh, bastards! The Jedi! Fuck! Someone's supposed to be a bridge. They don't have fucking security here. But fucking defeated from fucking Jedi bastards here. impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, Perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. 
that the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominance and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. Then we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Clive? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> 